The upcoming iPhone 12 is going to have lightning and the iPhone after that is probably going to have a lightning connector as well. But when Apple is done with lightning, I don't think the iPhone is going to be getting USB-C because courage? Well, actually it starts to make a little bit more sense when we break it down. If Apple wanted to implement USB-C on the iPhone, I think they would have implemented it already, just like they've already implemented on the iPad Pro since 2018. I think if Apple wanted USB-C to be the future of mobile ports, it would be in the iPhone right now, and that's just not the future. In my opinion, Apple is waiting for something bigger, something much better. So before we jump into this video, I did make another video about the upcoming Apple Watch Series 6, and when this video is done, I'm gonna have that linked right above my shoulder right here. So make sure to click the link right here when this video is done to learn more about the new upcoming Apple Watch. So remember that really quirky Apple charger that they announced in 2017, but never really did anything with? Uh, yeah, that. So apparently Apple is resurrecting air power and they're going to be bringing it back for a future release. Uh, current versions that they're testing are catching on fire. So yeah, I guess Apple doesn't want to be uh, catching anybody's house on fire uh, if they just want to charge their iPhone. But apparently Apple is working on that. They're working on a new method to uh, dissipate the heat out of the unit because you don't want to catch anybody's bedside uh, table on fire as they're charging their watch. But yeah, Apple's working on that. And I think air power is definitely going to be one step in making the iPhone portless. If the portless iPhone did ever come to be a thing, I think Apple would pretty much be forced to make their own proprietary wireless charging standard. Just because wireless charging on iPhones isn't fast enough right now. And if Apple wants to completely get rid of all ports on the phone, they're definitely going to need a faster charging solution, especially wireless. But wireless charging is really cool. It's just something that you actually can't include in an iPhone. Well, this is an AirPod box, but it's something you can't include in an iPhone box because you can't fit a wireless charger in here. So Apple's going to need something to ship with the iPhones that's going to be able to charge uh, the phone, obviously. It's going to be a portless phone, but you need to charge it and you don't want to make people spend 80 bucks on a wireless charger. So what do you do? Well, Apple is probably still going to ship a cable with this phone, even though it's a portless iPhone. They're going to be shipping a cable with it, but it's going to be more like the magnetic attachment on the old MacBooks. It's going to connect magnetically and it's going to be inductive. So this technology is going to be similar to what the iPad Pro actually has right now with the magnetic attaching Apple Pencil. Recent CAD models of the upcoming iPhone 12 have actually shown this connector on the side of the iPhone 12 renders. Now, analysts have confirmed that this technology is not coming to this year's iPhone, but it is cool to see that these types of renders and uh, these types of actual mockups are coming out of sources who have connections inside Apple. So while uh, iPhone renders are actually being made by people inside Apple with this side connector technology. So I think we can definitely expect this coming to an iPhone, definitely not anytime soon though. It's pretty cool technology and I love connecting my Apple Pencil to my iPad Pro and just the thought of that magnetic clicking sound uh, as I plug in my iPhone or I guess magnetically attach my iPhone to charge it would be a pretty cool feature that I wanna look forward to. But on the other end, Apple has to consider that people are going to be outraged just as they were when they switched the 30 pin connector from the iPhone 4S to Lightning in the iPhone 5. And just like when they took away the headphone jack from the iPhone 6S to the iPhone 7. So when we're on maybe the iPhone 13, iPhone 14, people are going to be upset when Apple completely removes the port and replaces it with the new iPhone cable as everybody is going to call it. And it's just gonna be a magnetic attachment on the side of the phone, which is gonna be really cool and honestly much better than actually plugging in your phone. I'm already talking about this like it's a thing. None of this has been confirmed. It's just me uh, running around in my own head here. Uh, tell me in the comments though, if you think this is a good idea. Honestly, I can see this being the, the future of iPhones. I don't even think I would need to use uh, a port on my phone if I had ultra fast wireless charging and of course that inductive connector that I talked about in this video. So tell me down below in the comments what you think about this. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I also made another video that I think you guys would really enjoy. It's about the upcoming Apple Watch Series 6 and that's going to be a much bigger upgrade than we are expecting. So go and watch that video. I'll have it linked right here. You can click it right after this video ends. Anyways, that pretty much does it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael. Make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. I'll see you in the next video.